Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So we're in 2024. I have a great video for you calling out four different simple, easy tips for mature women on how to do your makeup in 2024. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, happy new year. We are going into 2024 with a very simplistic outlook on mature makeup. That's has really been my philosophy from the very beginning. I wanted you to feel confident, beautiful, but yet you're not overdoing it. You don't have a thousand million products. You're not trying to keep up with all of the launches in the beauty industry because you'll definitely be frustrated and feel that you can't keep up because it's impossible. There's new launches from drugstore to prestige every single day. So I'm going to put on my rose lip balm to hydrate my lips. Actually, my lips are feeling better. I've been very conscious of drinking a lot of water. So I wanted to call out four points starting off in the 2024 new year on just what you should really focus in on when you're doing your makeup. So first I'm going to, let me just put my, my hair back a little bit to stay out while I prep my skin. So we're going to choose hardworking products, right? We want products that are going to nourish our skin, hydrate our skin. You want to look for products that are going to not dry out the skin. I have a really big thing with long lasting lipsticks or those 24 hour lip stains and what have you. I find that I see women using those and their lips are so dehydrated. It shows every single line and crevice and what have you. I don't think the ingredients are what you really are wanting to be using as a mature woman. That's just my opinion as a makeup artist. I've just seen how they just kind of wreck the lips for the most part or anything that's supposed to be like, long wearing. I think that it's just too hard on the skin. I'm using the Rose Pro Collagen Rose Marine Cream from Elemis. I love this cream and it's perfect for moisturizing my face in the morning and just setting me up for this beautiful hydration, but not too much, not too heavy, not like I have to sit here and kind of keep working it in. And of course, that rose smell just makes me so happy in the morning. So this is what I use on first. I'll let it set in. Then I'll usually put on my rose lip balm and then I will put on my Fiercely Smooth, which is my face primer. This is a gel face primer. It is not a moisturizer per se. It's not the only thing you put on your face. You put on the moisturizer first, prep the skin, and then you put on the primer. You don't wanna put on too much. You wanna just put it on so it's going to allow your BB cream tinted moisturizer foundation to go on and look beautiful and smooth and just give you that really nice canvas. So the second tip I have for you as I'm getting ready is to keep it simple. You don't need to have a ton of makeup like I had said. That was one of the things that I really taught in my makeup classes because I used to have women come in with all of their makeup. I said, bring in all your makeup. I want to see what you're using, what have you. And I literally had some women bring in like tubs of makeup, which they would never use. Again, makeup expires. You don't need to be using makeup that's three or four or five, six years old. That doesn't make sense. So when I would see all of these, you know, 40 eyeshadows and all these little pots and all of this different products, the ladies were so overwhelmed and they were just so confused. And I just wanted to pare it down to just what you need. You don't need a ton of things, a day look, an evening look, but you want to feel like when you go into your makeup bag, gosh, I feel confident. I know I look really good in these colors. I really know how this is going to apply. There's no surprises. There's no frustration or you get kind of discouraged every time you put on your makeup because it's just not right for you. So I'm going to take my eye primer. This is my first step I always do to neutralize out my eyes. Again, this is actually a nice hardworking product for you because it's going to number one, neutralize out your eyes. It's going to prime your eyes for your eyeshadow. Your eyeshadow is going to last all day. It's not going to crease. Again, this is a product that you don't pile it on. If you have dry eyelids, you're going to have to hydrate them. You're going to have to figure out how to hydrate your eyelids. I have mentioned Dr. Pericone does have an eyelid serum that's for the eyelid that you could do. You can't put this on dry dehydrated eyelids. If you have extremely oily eyelids, same thing goes for you. You have to maybe use an eyelid wipe and you have to figure out how you can control the oil on your eyelids. Because if you're going to be putting on a cream base over oil, what do we think is going to happen? It's not going to adhere to the skin like it should. So we have to prep and prime according to our skin type, what's going on. Maybe it's just seasonal that you have really dry eyelids, or maybe it's during the summer where your eyelids are getting really oily. So I have to pay attention to that too, because sometimes my eyelids do get a little bit oilier. I will take 
from CVS, I get these eyelid wipes. I'll wipe my eyelids first. I'm prepping them. I'm taking off those oils and then I will put on my eye primer. With the whole philosophy of keeping it simple, I'm going to just take my creme brulee. This is my hybrid bronzer and I'm gonna use it for my eyeshadow. It's going to just give me a nice little wash of color. I'm gonna use my blush brush. You can use an eyeshadow brush if you want to. I just like to swirl it on the actual compact and then I will squeeze the brush a little bit like this and I will go over my eyes. Now, does it have to be perfect? No, it's not perfect. You know, obviously <laughs> I'm not expecting it to be completely perfect. I just want a nice little color. And then I've showed you before. Also, this is because I happened to forget my eyeshadow when I went to Napa in, back in October and I had to improvise. So what I did was, is that I took my creme brulee, luckily I had this, and I went into the, I had my short smudge brush and I went into the darkest color here to give me a little bit of that contour. I was really pulling out all the tricks for myself. So I was like, okay, I at least can, you know, give myself a little bit more contour here. So I have a matte Basically, I've made a matte neutral shadow for myself. So I'm keeping it simple. This is just to give a little color. This is like, you know, um, if I want to be out the door, but I want to really not spend a lot of time doing eyeshadow, I can easily just sweep across. And then if I want to give that dimension, I can go in and do this. I'm going to take my Olme pad and I'm going to just sweep up on the sides of my face just to make sure that there's nothing that fell down. I always am lifting my eyes right from here. I am now curling my lashes. This is a really big thing. So my third tip for you is to always play up your eyes. So as a mature woman, this is my big thing. I want you to be defining your eyes, wearing that mascara. I get a lot of requests for brown mascara. And I have to say, ladies, you want the black mascara. I know everyone's saying, oh, I'm blonde or I'm gray and I want to have something that's soft or what have you. I have you going into a dark chocolate eyeliner and it's a pencil instead of a liquid to be softer and to really define the eyes but not be too harsh. But you want your lashes to be seen. You don't want to hide behind just brown mascara. That that is a personal choice. I totally understand that. But as a makeup artist, when I'm doing makeup, I've never done brown mascara on anybody. And I've done thousands of different clients all over the world, really. And I've never said to myself in my makeup kit, oh, I wish I had brown mascara. I never have. I've always put black mascara on my clients and it's always looked so beautiful. And we're talking all age from 20s to literally 95. I have always chosen black mascara. So I'm just going to use my pencil sharpener, just sharpen my dark chocolate eyeliner. And this is something that is going to really enhance your eyes as a mature woman, especially for 2024, if you haven't been doing eyeliner, is you want to stay really close to the lash line. So it's almost like you're building up your lash line. It's making your lashes look thicker. That's the idea. It's not about how much eyeliner can I put on? If you have done a very thick eyeline for most of your life, it will be a very big challenge for you to, to lower and take it down. You do you. If you love that, you keep doing that. I love to have a very nice thin line in this lash line because you're going to see how it makes my lashes look thicker, but I'm not adding weight. I'm not weighing down my eye. I don't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. That's a big, big point for mature women is that you, as we're aging, you know, it really is less is more but that doesn't mean you wear nothing. That just means that you're altering, you're, you're tweaking your makeup for your age, for your decade that you're in. And I always think a new year is such a, a wonderful time to experiment, to change things. There's a lot of things that I have been thinking about that I want to change, whether it's my style, it's not changing my style, but like curating it a little bit more or being more intentional about certain things or just things that I've been thinking about throughout 2023 and what I wanted to see in 2024. And I'm very excited to share here on the channel those changes. I have a lot of lifestyle changes that I usually do at the beginning, the first and second quarter that I'll share with you. And I'm very excited this year about that. You can go underneath the eye too, to just balance it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I like to just smudge a little bit. I think the idea for me, at least in 2024, is 
looking like I've made a lot of effort, but not making effort. I don't want to look like I have spent a lot of time doing all of the things. I want it to really be a simplistic, very stress-free kind of routine. And that's a big, I'm coming off of a very big stressful three years. So I see it on camera. I see the changes and I know what I want to implement. And I want to kind of have a, an effortless feel to my style, doing my videos, doing my makeup and what have you. And it's, that is another very intentional kind of thing that you do put into your life. It is something that you have to curate, at least for me. So this mascara is my volume up. And what's really important about it is that it is little teeth wand here. So this is silicone. It's going to grab all of your lashes. And that's a very big deal for mature women because I've had mascaras before when I would be on set working with very, very short lashes. And I would have a brush that it might've liked the formula, but the brush was just so terrible when it comes to short lashes. And I could never get all of the customer or the client's lashes. And it was very, you know, it was really a big disservice to my client because you want to spread those lashes out. That really opens up the eye and mature women really struggle with this because we get, you know, thinner lashes, they fall out. They're, you know, just not what they were. And if you have a mascara that's just rolling over all of them and not really gripping them and separating them and really pulling them out, that is what you need to look for. And that's why my volume up is really such an asset to my customer because that's what it does. And it really looks beautiful. It gives you that easy false lash look without having a ton of mascara on or having to wear false lashes. Mascara's on, you can go on the bottom lashes too if you want to. Now, what's really important is the skin. And this is what will make or break your makeup, is your skin. So you want to really neutralize out. You can do a bunch of different things that I've showed you on the channel. You can use color correctors, like I have the no redness for redness around the face. You can use the Just Peachy if you have a lot of discoloration or you have grays. We have Extreme Cancel if you have darker skin and you have those really deep, dark purples and you know really deep grays underneath the eye. That's a really great option for you because again, it's a hardworking product. Your concealer is not going to have to work that hard because you've already lifted the discoloration. So you can do that. Again, when we say keep it simple, you have to figure out what your skin's doing, what your concerns are, and then address them. So it's going to look different for everybody. I might put on more product than you do or than you need to. It's all about seeing what I do and then curating it for your own skin, your lifestyle, what you want to do, how you want to look. It's really all individual. So for me, I do use the Just Peachy underneath my eyes because I have a little bit of pigmentation. Sometimes it's, you know, more than others. I've been working, working on it with my skincare. I have a lot of smoothness now in this area. I used to have a lot of texture. So that was something I was really working on. And then I have the creamy concealer that will go over. So for me, that helps me with my confidence is being able to take away this darkness in here. I don't like seeing that. And I come underneath here and I go down like this with my color corrector first. That is something that makes my routine just really a beautiful, beautiful outcome. I'm going to take a little no redness on this blemish down here so I can get it to lighten up a little. Just taking my foundation buffing brush and I'm going to work this in underneath my eye. See this little area here with the redness, I'm going to just erase right now. I'm using my BB cream in light. I'm going to use this on my entire face, really concentrating on this area here, my T-zone, and then working it out to the outside of my face. I only need about a pump, pump and a half to get my whole entire face. This is a BB cream that I created to really hug mature skin, to blur out the skin, to be weightless, not to feel heavy, not to feel greasy or shiny. I had really in 2022, was it? Gosh, I think I can't, I can't believe that it's been so long since I was doing all those kind of crazy videos on just viral products and everything. I tried so many different BB creams, tinted moisturizers, CC creams. And I think from that experience, I knew exactly what I wanted for my customer and I knew what I wanted for myself. And I just wanted something that was 
just so superior and I made it. And it was very dramatic with all of my formulations and stop and go and what have you. But it's just such a beautiful product. And you can see, I mean, when you put it on, you're going to be like, wait, did I put it on? Because it feels so good on the skin and it makes your skin just look so, so radiant and just so just flawless. And my fourth step is my favorite. It's adding color to the face. This is really important for mature women to add cheeks, to add lips. Don't forget about your eyebrows. That is color also. You want to add the color in. We have skinny brow pencils that I designed. We even have a soft gray, which is wonderful for women that are grand gray, gray, just really not wanting to be in the brown family, not in the blonde family, but need that nice soft gray. The soft gray can go as light as you want to, depending on your application, or it can go into a deeper gray. That's how I designed it because I didn't want something just super light and then you couldn't get depth. I wanted you to always have that depth it depends on the way you apply it to your eyebrows. And that's all about technique. And that's what my channel is all about is teaching you that when I bring back my fierce aging ladies, which is going to happen in 2024, which I'm very excited about, you're going to see all of these products I've talked about in 2023 come to life on mature faces, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. We're almost there finishing out the set and it is going to be so beautiful. And so basically you can add color into the brows. Like I had said, you can go in if you don't need to with the clear brow mascara. And then, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use my Classic Beach Glow. This is a new product for 2024. Cream bronzer, cream blush, and cream highlighter. So this is kind of like your one-stop shop for color and giving your, yourself this beautiful glow. You can use this also on your eyes if you wanted to with the highlighter. And then you're going to see this is a deeper rose blush, different than what we have when it comes to the St. Bart's, it's very light. And then we have this really beautiful kind of a deeper rose and then Paris stick, which is our new blush stick in 2024. It's going to be more of a deeper berry. So you have a lot of range now when it comes to the product line. I love this. I love using it's on my cheeks and just seeing that it gives you a tiny bit of that beautiful radiance, not too much. This has no glitter in it. Doing a little of that highlighter right here on the cheek. Very subtle, very soft, beautiful. And then we're going to go just in with a little bronzer. And you have to be careful though, because you can get really excited and then do too much. And you'll get this really beautiful depth to the cheek area. And then the most important is the lips. So I'm going to do a little technique that is going to be with my silk lip liner. This is going to be like your nude lip liner. If you don't want a big lip liner, you're going to reach for silk. So you can see that it gives me that line, but it's not over the top. It's not where it's like, whoa, you just lip lined your lips. I like to do something that I've been doing. I'm going to take Cameo, my lip liner, and I'm going to just go in my Cupid's bow. So I'm giving a little bit more of that dimension. I'm calling out my lips up here. And then I just did the bottom here and it nicely goes together with this silk lip liner. This is not something that you have to do. I just like to do different things so I can see, is this going to enhance my lips? Is this going to look a little bit different? Ooh, I like this technique. Oh, I like, I like that. I just experimented and did that. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to always experiment. So I got away with just doing just peachy underneath my eyes. If I felt like, Oh no, you know what? I need a little bit more just to kind of conceal right in here, which is kind of sometimes the problem area. I can just add a little bit to that for a flawless look. Then I'm going to just add my Nick Ray, which will add a little bit of color to my lip. And it's more of a natural lip, it's not over the top. So these are my four tips for you for 2024. I'm getting used to saying 2024, but you want to, as a mature woman, have that special routine that makes you feel really good. You want to feel in control of your makeup. You don't want to feel like you go and say, Oh, I have so much. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. I'm not happy with anything that I have. Start going through all of your makeup and figuring out what do you use? 
What do you really want to have in your makeup kit? Is it expired? Is it old? Is it dirty? Let's start really looking at what we have and curating it. I've always been very, very communicative with you about not having too much. You want to have just the right amount of product for you. And that is with any brand that you love, you pick out what's going to work for you. What's going to make you feel incredible in 2024. Again, find hardworking products. Like I had said, add color to the face. You want to really bring out the eyes, play up your eyes as a mature woman and really keep it simple. And that means something different for everybody. What I do might not be simple for you, but you pick and choose what you want to incorporate into your makeup routine. So this is all about empowering you to look amazing in 2024 because you can, it just takes discipline. It takes curation. It takes cleaning out all your stuff. It takes that thought process like, okay, I'm going to tackle this. I'm going to put this on my list and I'm going to check it off. It's not something that you're going to keep procrastinating about and saying the same thing and getting into the same routine that you did last year and the year before and what have you. This is about what's going to make you happy what's going to put your best face forward because you know, when you feel good, you act completely different. And that's what I really want for you. I want you to get up in the morning. I want you to be excited about your makeup, putting your, your face together and feeling really good. Whether that's just mascara, whether that's just a lip balm, whether that's a full face of makeup, whatever it is, because you will change your complete attitude when you feel incredible about yourself, when you are taking that time because you're worth it, you are worth it to put on makeup, to feel incredible, no matter what anyone says, you have to shut out the noise. You have to focus in on yourself and say, how do I want to feel today? How do I want to present myself to the world? And you do it, you do that. And you might think, oh, so superficial, Nicole, makeup and this and that, so trivial. There's so many things going on in the world. Guess what? I am focusing on one thing. I always have been, and that's beauty and making women feel incredible. And that's my job. No matter what is going on in the world, no matter what happens, I'm still dedicated to bringing women products and information and education, because that's what I want to do. And that's what I feel makes a difference in women's lives. And I'm here for it. I'm so excited about 2024, my videos that I have for you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. It really does help with my channel, with being able to take my production level to the next level, to be able to bring amazing videos to you. So I would love for you to join my community and ladies until my next video, I'll see you later.